hello guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to see the fusion os on this redmi note 3 which is based on android version 10 so guys let's begin so guys as you can see this is the fusion os version 1.3 and the maintainer here is es cavit it is here it is showing unknown but the maintainer is the es cavit and the kernel here is the long term bellab and it's really a good kernel man i would really appreciate that yeah it's really a good kernel and yeah this is the, it these are the specifications and so guys just don't skip the video there are the timestamps available in the video in the description below so you can just directly skip to the timestamps whatever you want to see so yeah so guys this is the settings this is the home screen and as you can see this is feeling fluid super smooth man these are the gestures pre in directly available and yeah these are the gestures available so yeah let's just go to the settings this was the home screen i just showed to you these are the settings available here let's just go to the system and from the system you get to see the gestures these are the gestures available here then if you want to turn off the spill and the gestures then you can just turn it off from here on enable on screen navigation bar just turn it off and the hardware buttons will work perfectly fine as you can see here but uh, if you turn it on then the hardware buttons will just get disabled and will just not work so yeah if you want to use the gestures i must i would recommend you to use gestures because these are feeling very smooth and fluid and yeah this is just amazing the gestures are fluid and smooth so i would recommend to use that only and the back gestures are also working then this is not working the gang kepak parts this is the kernel specific customization this is not working i have rooted the phone as you can see the magic is installed i have rooted but this is just not working it just directly redirects to the home screen so yeah it is just not working okay then you get to see the digital well-being this is the fusion reactor these are all the customizations we'll talk about it later first of all i'll just show it to you the all the settings here this is the security settings and as you know the face unlock and the face unlock and the fingerprint option here is just not available for me face unlock is also not available but fingerprint here is just working absolutely fine but it is not available for me as you know that my fingerprint here is just not working there is no lock screen bug and everything here on the locks everything in the on the lock screen is just working perfectly fine so no worries then going to the display here these are all the display options available here and in the lock screen you get to see the always on display option available which is working absolutely fine then talking about the battery life here the battery life here i would say is average it's not that great what you expect here battery life here is not that great as you can see the screen on time is 42 minutes and i charge it 90 percent from 90 percent to 73 i got only 42 minutes of screen on time and the phone idle here is a bit long 15 hours and 53 minutes is the phone idle time but that also this battery life here is just not that great it's average i must say it's average you will get around four hours of screen on time and this is the fusion reactor these are the customizations for this rom and here first is the ui tweaks the themes and everything this is the themes you can choose whatever the color you want so these are the themes and the blur and everything you get to see the rounded corner option available here so that's great then you get to see these are the status bar customization that is it only then going to the gestures gestures just don't appear here you have to go to the system settings for that then in the lock screen you get to see the media artwork and you get to see the notifications here the ambient light and the edge lighting option here is just available so yeah that is great so and in the miscellaneous these are the option charging animation and the charging animation here is working absolutely fine and you get to see the allow signature spoofing so yeah that is it for the customization these were the customizations available here and yeah that is it now let's just go to the home screen here let's just talk about the quick settings the wi-fi here is working absolutely fine and mobile data here is also working absolutely fine as you can see mobile data lte as you can see up here it is showing lte so it's a good news that volte here on this room is working perfectly fine yeah that's great then talking about the other quick settings here the flashlight and everything here is just working hotspot mobile data everything is working you get to see the screen recorder option available here and this is the 
modes the performance balance and battery mode and everything gaming and the gaming performance here is also just great and then talking about the camera here this is the camera you get to see the normal camera here the snapdragon one and is working as you know absolutely fine and but the google the, the google camera here are just not working the google camera version 7.3 or all the google cams here are just not working you can download the 4.1 from the play store that will work absolutely fine and i would recommend you to use that camera only because this is not that great okay then talking about the performance here these are the geekbench scores so these are the scores 285 and 731 the scores are great and the performance here is also just great the fluid and everything gaming performance here is also just great then talking about the safety net here and here also a good news that safety net status has passed and that was passed without rooting the phone so you don't have to root your phone to get the safety net status so yeah safety net status has passed without rooting the phone so yeah then talking about the safety net here the sa uh, sorry the internet speed test so these are the results uh, i got the 26.4 for the upload and 20.9 for the download and this is as you can see for the lte for the volte as you can see here this is a bit of lag i don't know i'm facing it some time but not every time this is once in a while man once a few times so yes this is because of the this speed test app i don't know what happens when i open the speed test app the phone just gets starts getting hanged and so as you can see this is a problem so guys if you still haven't subscribed to the channel then please guys subscribe to the channel and there will be the name of the telegram group here you can join the telegram group from there and also the link will be in the description below so you can join the telegram group from the link from the link let's just start the speed test and as you can see the wi-fi here is connected and there here back here there is the router so yeah these are the speeds we got the download uh, is 54 mbps and upload we got is the 28.9 and as you can see the app lock here is available and so these are the internet speeds so there is no issue with the internet speed test here both the wi-fi and the volte both are just working absolutely fine so there is no issue with the internet so guys yeah that is it and then talking about the bugs here the i just shown you that uh, yeah that phone got hanged so yeah that is a bit issue i have faced sometime i have faced it around two times and i'm using it from around three three days now and i faced it around one to two times so yeah that is uh, the hang is a bit issue sometimes when we, there are many apps open in the background so the so you just have to take care of that yeah you don't open many apps in the background so yeah that happens otherwise everything here is just working absolutely fine no other bugs i have faced so guys now time for the final verdict if should you use this rom for daily usage or not i will recommend you to use this as a daily driver here there is no reason that you shouldn't use it the room is very much stable and it's super smooth so you can use if you want to and this room is just amazing so yeah i will recommend you to use it as a daily driver so guys that's it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye